how do you guys shop together? I have to do some research first because I have to always find what's best. So is that how you decide on which Hot Pocket to get? Yes, literally. I'm Melina. I'm Kevin. <laughs> I'm Bree. My name's Rowan. I'm Rich. Bernice. We're engaged. We're married. We've been married for 23 years. How old are you guys? I'm 28. I'm 24. I'm 19. I'm 19 too. How long have you guys been together? A year. Almost a year in March. Same Where thing. Where are you from? From Chechnya. It's a Islamic Republic in Southern Russian Federation. What brought you to the States? The war was happening still a little bit, so it was a little bit safer here. Is there a big cultural difference with how you guys were raised? Uh, I would say so. I just feel like I had a harder childhood than he had. So you think he grew up spoiled? I... <laughs> yes. <laughs> what does $100 mean to you guys? I feel like normally when we spend $100, it's not ever on this much food. We were kind of like, wow, we can actually get a lot for $100. When you have a child and you have to make ends meet, you could go to the cheapest store and $100 barely, you know, stretched, so. Yeah. Let's talk about the food here. What do you think this is a good reflection of? We love cereal. I'll drink a lot of Capri Suns. Sprite is my favorite drink. It looks like you guys eat like children. <laughs> Everyone says that. We have a mini fridge in our room. And when my friends yeah. come over, they're like, oh my god, this is a kindergartner's fridge. Who chose all the junk food? Me. What do you think? <laughs> Oreos and energy drinks, that's, I have to have that. Who here is trying to bulk up with that muscle milk? <laughs> I'm not trying to bulk up, but I, I mean, I'm... Uh, I go to the gym more often is the short answer to that question. <laughs> What's the most expensive thing you guys got here? Probably like the vegan A's. I have a lot of health issues related to having uh, diagnosed bulimia, which is what led me to veganism. He must be vegan too, right? No. What are dietary restrictions for you guys? Coming from an Islamic Republic, no pork. And also no marshmallow or anything with gelatin in it. You'd be surprised, it's in everything. Yeah, no alcohol. At the end of the day, it's nice to wind down with a glass of wine, but especially with the salmon. How do you guys work together when you're out shopping? I push the cart and take care of the baby, and she picks the food. I have to do some research first, because I have to always find what's best. So is that how you decide on which hot pocket to get? Yes, literally. The angriest we've been at each other, I think it's all been shopping experiences. <laughs> I don't really go shopping at a grocery store with a mission. I just go for the experience. I go for the experience <laughs> of completing a mission. He lies sometimes. Sometimes, lies. yeah. Sometimes if it's something that I know is like definitely just a waste of money, I'll the, check. Oh, there's gelatin in it, puts yeah, it back. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> What's your living situation like? We live in a house. You guys own it? She does. <laughs> We've got three kids, a dog and a boat. I mean, we may look like the American dream, I suppose. Kind of the edge of town, so we've got lots of land around us. We live in a concrete box. Yep, a little studio. Oh. We live with my mom. We live with my parents. Is it annoying living in your parents' place? It's pretty good. She just gives us freedom. Do you guys pay rent? No. no. Does that help you guys save? Yeah. It's helped me say, I mean. <laughs> Have you guys considered a mutual bank account? Mm -hmm. I don't know, because I feel like you're going to spend all my money. I'm not, though. Who's worse with money? I don't know. I don't think we've talked about this. I like to talk about money. I initially was not as open about talking about finances. Because he's like, this is America. We don't talk about money. Four years ago, we were in the food bank line. We. Starved. Are you guys on food stamps? Or? Yes, we receive EBT. I've had people look at me and be like, you don't deserve it because you clearly had enough to get this or that, like that phone, that bag. You don't know if those are gifts. You don't know where that stuff came from. And with food stamps, it has helped us so much, but it's supplemental. It's not enough to live off of. How much do you make? I can't say. I'm pretty sure I saw it through the email. You're just telling yeah, me it was 2650. Yeah. Is that how much she makes an hour? Yeah. Who does the cooking? She does. Uh, typically me. I do. I cook. Well, why do you cook? A woman's supposed to cook, right? No, I would say... <laughs> I mean, uh, I could cook, but I don't think he'd like I'll it. I'll ask her, do you find it sexy when I cook for you? Uh, do you find it sexy when I cook for you? I don't know. It's kind of expected at this point. <laughs> do you guys eat together? 
We try to have dinner together, at least the nights that we're home at the same time, and we sit at the table. We don't watch TV while eating. We love to gather around food and celebrate our family and friends. We're not the stereotypical sit down, eat together family. We'll eat upstairs, watch something really quick. I have some military experience, so food is subsidence. If we're sharing food, I have to eat fast because he eats so fast. What does food mean to you? I would say food is just a medium for like, community, family. I kind of see food as fuel and nothing, <laughs> nothing more. Food for me has always been something that was used as punishment. What do you mean by punishment? If I ate too much of something, you're getting too big. Or if you eat that, you're going to get fat. Food is like an enemy. Do you guys want to get married? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Have you guys talked about it? Yeah. All the time. Why do you guys want to get married? Um, you guys are going to get married. Yeah. Kids? No. No. <laughs> I don't want to be responsible for another human being. I can't even take care of a plant. We don't want to have kids in America. No. We have certain religious values, and we'd prefer to raise our kids in an Islamic country or republic. And now that the kids are kind of um, starting to go away and it's just us, we're starting to have some fun and do some weekends away and some trips on our own. What keeps you guys together? We do have enough in common to feel comfortable sharing our differences and talking about them and trying to learn more about ourselves and each other. We fight like cats and dogs and there's time, I've said some things, even in the past week, I think I've said I hate you, that there are days where you just say things you don't mean and I can say from the bottom of my heart that I do love you, even in those horrible <laughs> fights. I love you. I love you too. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> All right, now make out and we'll leave you guys alone. <laughs> Mmm, <laughs> muscle milk. John. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers.